welcome to another episode of True Review. Today we're going to be reviewing The Accountant, officially Oof. out for release on the 4th of November, Oof. starring Ben Affleck, Anna Kendrick, J.K. Simmons, and John Berthnall, directed by Gavin O'Connor, who has just done a bunch of random he, projects. So this movie stars Ben Affleck as the lead, who plays an accountant called Christian Wolf. Accountant by day, absolute badass by night. <laughs> okay, so imagine if Batman took off his suit, but could still fight and could still bust bones, and but was an accountant. Christian Wolf in this film plays a very shady, in the dark accountant who is hired by gangs and mafias and crime organizations to have a look at their books and find out where they're leaking money, find out how to save money, etc., etc. So he does actually play an accountant, which I thought was pretty cool. So in reality, he's accountant by day and accountant by night as well. Yeah. Which is which is pretty interesting because I thought <laughs> it was going to be completely different. Mm. This movie came at a great time for me personally mm-hmm. because I've just been hit with <laughs> just so many crappy movies. Terrible. movies that I thought would be really good and they've just betrayed me (laughs) and I was really losing hope and this movie just reignited everything I love about film it was so good so one thing I really loved about this movie was the directing it shifted quite often from past to present and doing that you really got to understand Christian Wolf and why he behaved the way he behaved and why he's chosen certain paths in his life you're different sooner or later different scares people You think if you don't fight back, then maybe they'll like you, stop picking on you, calling you a freak, victim or not, make a decision. Your son is a remarkable young man. It wouldn't surprise me if he has more in common with Einstein and Mozart and Picasso than he does with us. And then you can see that in the present time, him portraying all of these characteristics. And it was really interesting to have that backstory Mm -hmm. to explain what we were seeing in real time. This new style of doing the character development throughout the film, I think is really good because it stops us from having this really boring, long first half of a movie and allows us to get straight into the action while breaking up that action intermittently. Not with boring love scenes like the old movies used to be, but with actually important information that helps develop the character. It's a little bit like Deadpool. Yeah, it was very similar uh, style. Deadpool. This movie was driven by one guy. There were some good supporting actors and actresses in this movie, mm-hmm. but this movie was driven by Ben Affleck. I was never on the pitchfork Ben Affleck side. I was. She was. <laughs> I used to hate Ben Affleck. She was. Uh, he was He was a terrible actor. Let's just put it out there. He I was terrible. To, after Argo, he went to the mountains. He <laughs> went to find Senpai and he has trained and he's come back a different actor. Every movie he starred in after Argo has just been sensational. His level of performance in each movie is so high. It's becoming very consistent. They're very similar. I feel like his character's dad diverging and kind of molding into one very strong actor but one character i feel like the man that i was watching in the accountant i could have well been watching the same exact character from gone girl and the same exact character from batman and this is just me following his life and all now he's become an accountant and he's doing this now instead of being Bruce Wayne. I'm not sure. I'm not (laughs) sure. I feel like in Gone Girl, for example, Mm -hmm. we saw a very emotional Ben Affleck. I think Ben Affleck still has a long way to go, but I've been very impressed. He was the perfect cast for this movie. Without him in this movie, I don't know if it would have been the same. And let's not take away from anyone else. J.K. Simmons, I'm a huge Anna Kendrick fan. She's very much always the damsel in distress, the like smart but confused girl. She needs to come up with something new in her next movie. Otherwise, she's just going to be typecast. John Burr, Walking Dead guy who like dies in the first season. He was so good as well. There was the great twist between his character and Christian Wolf as well. I can't really say anything bad about this movie. Yeah. I'm really happy I was able to see it early. Thank you, Cine World. I went into the movie very blind, even though I had seen a lot of trailers. This is one thing that they've managed to do excellently is that the trailer really didn't give yeah. anything away. A lot of movies, you go in and you feel like you've seen the best scenes in the trailer. So when they come on, you're not yeah. really that impressed or yeah. you've got too much of the story. So you kind of know the twist. This was absolutely fantastic in the way that the trailer really just enticed you just enough to want to watch the film actually didn't tell you anything do you know what i really liked was when he did this can our son lead a normal life define normal this that motif was good though i just couldn't wait to see it in the movie (laughs) and when he was doing us i just felt so good (laughs) this is what i came in for he's doing the thing this is an action movie 
There was just so many dynamics to this movie. It didn't follow the obvious action structure. There was a lot of depth in this movie. The director almost directed this like a TV show. You had two plot lines running parallel to each other that converged at the end. Usually in a film, it's very, very hard to do that and develop any characters, but he managed to bring all those characters together so that he could develop them or as the story was going along. I'm gonna give this movie an A minus. The score was amazing. You can tell the score's gonna be good mm -hmm. from the trailers. I'm gonna rate this film an 8.2 i thought it was a very very solid film all the actors gave solid performances <laughs> i hate you definitely watch it it comes oh, out guys. november 4th as we said hey but guys this has been true review remember 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 like our shit share our shit god damn I'm not sharing shit no. man. all right okay i'm sorry but share <sighs> our videos deuces You're different. Sooner or later, different scares people. You think if you don't fight back, then maybe they'll like you, stop picking on you, calling you a freak. Victim or not, make a decision. Your son is a remarkable young man. It wouldn't surprise me if he has more in common with Einstein, Mozart, and Picasso than he does with us. He has highly advanced cognitive skills. The obsessive personality. Can our son lead a normal life? Define normal. Maybe he's capable of much more than we know. Say you're the head of the Sinaloa cartel. Who can you trust to track your stolen cash? He's capable of coming in cold, uncooking years of books, and getting out alive. Imagine the secrets this guy has. Who are you? Can our son lead a normal life? Define normal.